Good morning, everybody. It's great to have this turnout on a Monday morning. Uh, for those of you that may not know me, I'm Luis Herrera. I'm the city librarian here in San Francisco, and I'm really delighted to welcome all of you to the first ever yes. Digital Inclusion Week. How about that? That's great. Uh, yeah, and, and thank you to staff. I was able to score a, a wonderful t-shirt that has a great logo, so uh, thank you all for, for joining us. Uh, it really is an impressive roster of community partners that include nonprofits, tech companies, community stakeholders, all of you that are working in the front lines to provide technology to our community members. This collaborative work is very, very important because technology literacy is essential in our society today. I think we know that there's still a d divide in our city. Uh, about 150,000 folks, residents, still don't have access to the internet or to high-speed high internet in our home. Uh, and twice that number lack the literacy skills or technology literacy skills specifically uh, and are not proficient. So Digital Inclusion Week is really important to help raise awareness about that important goal. And San Francisco's goal is nothing less than achieving full digital inclusion for all our residents. We should always keep that in mind. Here at the library, we're very proud that we play an important role in bridging the digital divide. We provide free internet access, as all of you know. Uh, tech training and tech literacy is really part of what we do day in, day out. Not just here at the main library, but certainly uh, in all of our neighborhood libraries. And we love the idea of partnering with community stakeholders uh, on that endeavor. I was looking at the amazing list, uh, over 50 programs this week that the team put together. And then when I looked at the partners, listed all here, uh, about 20. So each of you deserve to uh, be applauded for your efforts in helping us put together this amazing week of activities. In particular, I want to do a shout out to the Nonprofit Technology Network and our Google partners, um, SF Connect from the Department of Aging and Adult Services for their great leadership on this. Um, going back to the Nonprofit Technology Network, our Google fellow, Wen Wen Shi, she's in the back, she's very <laughs> this. Wen Wen, when, when I first met her uh, last Late, late last summer, early fall, uh, my first conversation with her, she said, you know, I, I've got this idea. I'd love to have an entire week of activities for digital inclusion to really promote that. And she's pulled it off. Uh, amazing, amazing work. And also thank you to her, her teammates um, at the Bridge at Maine, which is right upstairs on the fifth floor. We have a literacy and learning center that does phenomenal work, uh, working on the digital divide and inclusion. Uh, through a career online high school, to adult literacy programs, to a tech center. Kate Epler is back there, but I know there's also her team members that do great jobs. So thank you all for the amazing work that takes place up there as well. Um, other partners uh, that need to be kind of acknowledged and, and uh, appreciate their support. The Mayor's Office of Civic Innovation. I know some members are here in the audience. The um, Community uh, Committee on Information Technology, or COIT, that does the policy work that's really important in advancing digital inclusion. Uh, the Department of Technology, SF Connected, which is, a, I mentioned earlier, a program of DOS, which is the Department of Aging and Adult Services. And I don't know if Shireen McSpadden is here, but I want to acknowledge my uh, other peer department head for their work. So this week is an opportunity for us to raise awareness of all the trainings and offerings that we have in the community. And we brought together governmental nonprofit and private sector organizations uh, to help us with this. There are two key partners, the Community Technology Network and Community Living Campaign. So let's give them a round of applause. And I know that their work is really meaningful. And we've been very pleased to partner with the SF Tech Council for their own ongoing commitment uh, to bridge the, div the digital divide. 
We're offer, offering also a wonderful game that we're calling the Learning for Action here at the main library. So the entire week, our public, uh, and again, we serve between four and 5,000 folks coming into the main library each and every day. So we want them to stop by each of our different subject areas uh, and learn about the digital resources that are available. Uh, we're gonna be also hosting film programs. Uh, you've got the brochure, uh, a bunch of volunteer uh, mixers for nonprofits, uh, tech-focused TED-style talks, and many hands-on classes uh, for the benefit of our public. And you'll have a chance to enter a raffle and win a Google Chromebook. How's that for a motivation to get people excited about uh, learning all about the digital resources? Well, so with that, again, I want to thank you all for the opportunity to uh, extend our welcome for all the variety of programs that we're going to have. And it's now my pleasure to welcome to the stage and thank you, uh, District 2 Supervisor Mark Farrell, for all your efforts in helping bridge the digital divide. So welcome. Thank you, Luis. Um, good morning, everybody. First of all, how about a round of applause for our city librarian, everybody? So I want to thank everybody for being here uh, this morning to kick off Digital Inclusion Week. This is an incredibly important topic. You know, internet access, digital inclusion, this is the utility of the 21st century. I want to see a show of hands right now. Who here could get by their daily lives without internet access or knowing how to access the internet? Anybody? Wow. I'm impressed. Okay. We'll see inside the City Hall. Um, <laughs> This is a ubiquitous thing that affects our entire country. It affects us all here in San Francisco. Uh, as many of you know, we've been working very hard, hard inside of San Francisco, um, inside of our city government, um, to make sure that we do everything possible to bridge our digital divide here in our city. Uh, I still think it is criminal that in the technology capital of the world, here in San Francisco, we still have over 100,000 people without internet access at home. Um, I can't believe that exists. Every time I tell somebody that stat, they can't believe it exists. And I do believe we need to do everything possible to make sure that we are preparing the next generation of San Francisco residents and the next generation of San Francisco kids who are going to be born and raised San Franciscans um, to make sure that they have all the digital skills that they need moving forward in life. So um, I do have a proclamation here from the city of San Francisco um, that I wanted to read to everyone. Um, and maybe Mr. Herr, maybe it's the, when I read it, you can come, come up. So whereas technology literacy is increasingly necessary for full participation in our information-oriented society, whereas the city and county of San Francisco's long tradition of social justice, and its exceptional leadership and technological, technological innovation makes it positioned to address the barriers to digital inclusion and to promote new technologies that improve its residents' quality of life, whereas our hashtag SF Wi-Fi program is expanding access points to provide more residents and visitors with internet service throughout the city's public spaces, and whereas the city is working towards improving connectivity for San Francisco's digitally excluded households, helping low-income seniors, persons with disabilities, youth, and jobless gain digital literacy access skills and training, and whereas the city and county of San Francisco supports the creation of Digital Inclusion Week to raise awareness and provide information about the services and training opportunities available to help our community gain access to, access to technology and bring various governmental, nonprofit, and private sector organizations together to collaborate and share resources under the goal of bridging San Francisco's digital divide. And there's a list of about 50 different groups to thank, so I'm going to skip that, but you know who you are. Most of you are in the room. Therefore, be it resolved that Mayor Ed Lee of the City and County of San Francisco declares this week, May 8th through 13th, officially Digital Inclusion Week here in the City of San Francisco. take that home. <laughs> um, again, I want to thank everyone for being here. I, in particular, I do want to thank uh, a lot of these groups. Um, Cami here is here and a lot of other folks uh, that have been participating as we've um, led a panel, a community panel here in San Francisco. 
Um, a huge, huge special thanks uh, to Supervisor Eric Marr, um, my colleague at the Board of Supervisors for a number of years, who's been a leader on this topic um, for years when we were working together. I'm proud to partner with you, Eric, on this topic. Um, Eric's going continuing his leadership in the city of San Francisco in so many other ways um, right now, but I just want to say thank you, Eric, to all of your, all of your work. Um, and to everybody that's part been participating in these community panels, thank you very much. You know, San Francisco, if anything, is all about inclusion and making sure we have process and hear community input. And there have been so many people uh, in this room that have been working on this topic for so many years. Um, and we want to make sure as we move forward as a city that we garner the collective wisdom that everybody has gained over the years. So thank you very much. And at this point, um, I would like to introduce uh, Tomiko Davidson uh, from Microsoft. Um, I, hope that I, I hope I didn't butcher that name. What's that? Oh, Mariko, sorry, oh, I did butcher it, okay. So anyways, from Microsoft, who's gonna MC today? Um, so anyone, thank you everybody and welcome, Mariko. Sorry. Sorry. Good morning, everyone. You guys ready for Digital Inclusion Week? Okay. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm Mariko Davidson. I build civic partnerships for Microsoft and I'm gonna be your MC this morning. So in these first few minutes before we really kick off the program, I'm going to go through three things with you. One, why Digital Inclusion Week is so important. Two, how this relates to some of the work that we do at Microsoft. And then three, we're going to just quickly um, share what's in store for you for the rest of today. So, um, you know, we've heard a lot about why Digital Inclusion Week is so important. And uh, technology literacy is increasingly important just to live in our day-to-day -day society. Um, it's, you know, we've heard it already, but 150,000 people in San Francisco still lack high-speed internet access in their home. And more than twice that number um, aren't able to really use digital devices right now. So it's pretty clear there's a lot of work to be done. Um, you know, San Francisco has a ton of city and community resources and partners seeking to uh, achieve a vision of full digital inclusion, which is really exciting, and so many of you here today are part of that ecosystem. And the library plays a huge role in bridging, bridging this digital divide. So Digital Inclusion Week aims to raise awareness and provide information about the services and training opportunities available in our communities today. Um, at Microsoft, we do some of that work. So I'm part of the Metro teams, and we're present in six different cities across the US. And we were established four years ago because cities, as we all know, are are increasingly more and more important um, than ever before. You know, by 2015, over 70% of the world's population will live in urban areas. And digital inclusion is a key part of that evolution. And so one of the sh stories I want to share with you is about accessibility and how that relates to digital inclusion. So I'd like you all to close your eyes and go through this thought experiment with me. Um, Imagine you're at a restaurant and someone hands you a menu, but you can't read it and you have no idea what it says. Imagine you're at a meeting discussing a sensitive challenge and you make a comment, but you can't read anyone's faces or body language to see their reaction. Now imagine you get off an airplane and you're at a new airport but you can't read their signs, and you can't that take you to a baggage claim or get you to your connecting flight. And if you're blind, this could be just a regular part of your day to day. So a couple years ago at Microsoft's Hack for Good Challenge, uh, a team learned about these challenges from their colleague and their coworker, and inspired, they set out to tackle them from a technology approach. So there's this new program we're calling Seeing AI, uh, and it started out as a cell phone. So during this Hack for Good challenge, they took their own cell phones and you know, secured them to their head using a headband, and now it's evolved using AI technology to see with glasses and giving audio directions. 
Um, it, it's still very much emerging and being refined, but we have a great team working on it. And you can go online onto YouTube and check out Seeing AI video. It's very, very short, but it'll give you a sense of what it's like to navigate with this new technology. And digital inclusion is really about making technology accessible to everyone. And after all, disability and inequity in so many ways is really a social con construct. OK, so with that, we have a really exciting program in store for you all today. We have next the Internet Service Provider Panel, and we're going to have a brief Q&A after that. We'll have the nonprofit organization panel with some excellent panelists on, on both sides. And we'll also have Q&A. And then after that, we're going to wrap up and head to lunch over in the uh, room next door. So quickly, before I go on to introduce the panel members, I'm going to just do a quick bit of housekeeping. So there are bathrooms around the corner. Uh, Wi-Fi should be open. And the hashtag is Digital Inclusion Week. The Wi-Fi is SF Wi-Fi. And we encourage you all to tweet and share about this really excellent panel that you're about to hear from. And uh, tag the library at SF Public Library on Twitter. There's hashtag each one teach one and also hashtag Digital Inclusion Week. 